guys doing today? Mwah. I missed you so much. As I said, you guys, I had a special guest. Honey, and I'm special. And honey, how are y'all? Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> like, you guys, this is my sister, Chelsea. If you guys have never met her, we do have a few. New honey, they know me. We have a few new subscribers here, so they don't know. So this is my sister, Chelsea. And today, you guys, she always requests when she come on the channel, she loves the seafood. So we got seafood today, a full seafood boil. with. Um, we have king crab that I got from Costco. Costco is going through something right now with their seafood. Oh, and they need to get hear, it together. We have the window open and there's a really nice breeze coming in. So if that's what you hear, that's what that is. Yes. Let's tell them what we got on the menu today. All right, so we got some lobster tail. Lobster tail. No, I mean lobster tail. <laughs> lobster tail, we got potatoes. We have corn. cucumbers, corn, sausage, and shrimpies. Uh -huh. did, I, did I miss anything? No, and I And you have your sauce. I have my sauce. It's a little bit hot, but it's so yummy and starving. She always requests like a lemon zing. Like zing and zest yeah. and all that. And then me and you guys, I am cutting back from the butter as of right now. So this is my sauce. It has cilantro, green onion, vinegar, all my favorite se seasonings, cayenne, pepper, sugar, um, a little bit of olive oil. This is a colder sauce, This is like rabbit soup. Like it is not rabbit like soup. Actually, a rabbit would eat. No, it doesn't. It looks delicious. <laughs> And it's yummy. So let's say the blessing. Do you want to say the blessing today? Can you say it quick? I've been saying it. I'm Come starving. On. Lord, we thank you for this food. Let's receive. Um, let it be nourishment to our bodies. Please anoint the hands that made it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, you guys. Let's get into it. I'm ready. I'm so hungry. Y'all got to She me kept saying, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. starving. <laughs> I am so, so, you guys, this does so, look good. So, 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 so. Y'all, I wanted like a healthier sauce. This sauce got cilantro in it. And y'all, mm. this thing going, um, oh. cilantro has, if y'all know the side effects of cilantro, you know the can side you, Can they see the steam? Probably not. Starving. Mm. Let me take your first bite before me. Mm. 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 That is delicious. My grainy. I'm starving. <laughs> so hungry. Mm. Oh no! We got our sausage. Oh. Ah. Did you saw them cucumber? Oh no. Yeah. Mmm. Sausages are delicious. Mm -hmm. I think we should taste our. What? <laughs> our lobster tail together. And she said she need help with the crab legs. Yeah, because I don't know. You how are to, not going to need help with this. I don't I know promise. how to quick crackety crack. Oh. Mm. Okay. Take somebody's eye out with that thing. Remember that one time we was in Costco? He was like, that that man was like, <laughs> he was like, how much are those? And I said, he <laughs> can't even get it out. And I showed him the price. He was like, oh, Jesus Christ. You remember that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> how could I forget? He was like, I don't know. Y'all, these crab legs are delicious. Mmm. Oh, man. It goes so well with the sauce. Like a simple. Mm. Vinaigrette sauce. This is very, very yummy. So, I think this is definitely a, a wonderful alternative if you don't want to do a lot of butter. Which, I can understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're a pro with that. I am not a pro. Mm -hmm. These little baby I'm, I'm, I'm like, ow, ow, ow. We got the scissors right here. You can actually really do this yourself, <clears throat> honestly. Because these are so small. These are not like the Ooh. big ones. I'll give this piece to you. Ah. It's only a small piece though, but I'll help you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Y'all, I'm kind of nervous to be saying this King Crab. They need to change the title. More like King Junior. To uh, Exactly. <laughs> Queen Crab. For sure. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> But yes, you guys, I have my sister here. I'm so excited to have Did you. Did y'all miss me? If you miss me, put I miss you in the comments. Mm -hmm. They always ask for you. Always. Aren't me and her other sister like total opposites? Yes. <laughs> Very much so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. How are you guys doing? We are on day 19, honey. Of what? Going strong every day. Everyday videos. Yay, yeah, yay! Yeah. <laughs> Going strong every day. Mm. 
Man. I'm like, no sauce gets wasted, okay? <laughs> so freaking hungry, like. Mm -hmm. Man, so good. Mm. Um, I have water. Oh my gosh, y'all. Um, Drink water to my mind, my mind is now. Mm. <clears throat> y'all, we were both really <clears throat> hungry. I think she was more hungry than me because she kept saying, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Mm. Mm. My sauce tastes better. Mm, mm, mm. So good, y'all. Ow! Mm. Mm -mm. That's just something about something about your hands. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The artist is huge. Yes, let's eat it together. Ready? Just tear it off. Just do what I'm doing. Follow me. Oh no! Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Mmm. Ooh. Sorry. Taste it before you. Ready? Yep. Yeah, Lord. Ready? You made yours look gooder. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so soft. Mine's a little bit um. Like it's not. It's not tough. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's tender. Very. Mmm. 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 Mm. So Chelsea um <laughs> is here with us today, you guys. I'm here in the flesh. Well, I mean Mmm. I am in a second. I'm so hungry. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it is so so fresh, so yummy. You got the um why are they so big? They're huge. Lobster tail? Mm hmm Um, I think it's the type of lobster it is. Larry. Um, and these are, I don't know what kind, I don't know, tiger, lobster, I don't know. I really need to find out which one it is. But these are lobster. They got those big, I don't know. I know what they look like, but I don't know what they're called. Fine mm. tiger or something. Mmm. So yummy. Are you satisfied, I'm starving. <laughs> <sighs> uh, is there anything in this? Darn, um. look at the <laughs> Ow! Stop me! Okay, I'll get it for you. Hold on. Over here fighting with seafood. Mm. Look at the porkies. Mm. Yeah. Is, isn't this their like defense mechanism? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, something in These are really sharp, you guys. Wow, how do you do this? They're always sharp like this, but um, depending on the company, they will like shave them? it down some, yeah. Um, but they didn't do that with this. We'll okay, here, so, so I did that for you, so you can just like grab that out like that. All right, I'm doing it. I'm doing <laughs> it. This one came right out. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one! Didn't, I didn't get lucky with that one. Mmm. Mmm. This is mm. sharp. You okay? Hot <laughs> my tooth now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. Mm. I can never break Ow, my this, this is very sharp. <laughs> Oh, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Your sauce is sweet? Mm mm. It's like, it's a good balance. Mm, I like bitter. It's not over the top sweet. <laughs> it's Sorry. That's like you burping. <laughs> no, it's like somebody it. said, um, <laughs> why you be making that pig sound every time you eat? <laughs> And it's basically what you just did. So I was basically, you guys, you I gotta like clear it out. That's you guys, I do that. It's not even me clearing anything out. 
it's me trying to talk and eat at the same time. So it's like you do it a lot though. I don't yes, know because <laughs> it's I'm trying because I'm doing mukbang and I'm trying to talk to y'all, entertain you guys, and eat, and I've got stuff in my throat and stuff like that. So that's what that is. I've been doing that. <clears throat> All right. Since I started. Let me taste your sauce. Mm -mm. Excuse you. Mmm. <laughs> I know. Sorry. She yeah, made it. Yeah, that is that. She mm -hmm. made it. She knows how my sister knows me by. Like, mm -hmm. She's like, she knows how I like. You want a cucumber? Yes, please. Okay. I wish the clumps were real. Invite them to a seafood boil. Why? I'm sure, there's people that are like the. No. <laughs> I mean, like, like you know how Eddie Murphy did it. I, I know it's people like the clumps. I know that. But I mean, like, you know, like with how how funny they are, like stuff like that. That's I'm sure I mean. somebody's family is like that. Everybody's family is Hello. very special, and it's just a family dynamic, you know. Mm. You think, who, who do you think is funny in our family? The, like the most funny. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say mommy. You think so? They always laughing at mommy because like like at the um where was we at? Mommy's so dramatic. Like she just her voice and so like, were we. We are, we definitely get our dramatics from our mom for sure. <clears throat> Dramatizing and everything. She like can I? Y'all, if I could show y'all this cat is just in our face and it's just ridiculous. She like. <laughs> She is greedy. She likes um shrimp. And she loves seafood, you guys. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like it. Mm. Oh, I need to slow down. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Man, this sauce is so good. It feels good to get a break from the butter. Oh, you didn't And you can have something. Mm -mm. It doesn't have any butter in it. I didn't listen. And you can have something fresh and healthy. Fresh, healthy ingredients. And honey cilantro, honey. Woo! Cilantro will do you in. Mmm. Mmm. So, every time Chelsea's here <clears throat> on the channel, she's always encouraging you guys. Um, sometimes you oops, have to encourage. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you gotta encourage yourself. Yeah. Definitely. Look ahead. Um. Sometimes you definitely have to encourage yourself. And Chelsea and I are both going through a transition. We're not turning into men in our lives right now. Just put that out there. Um, not that type of transition, but we're going through a transition. I mean, my voice is deep. You know what I'm saying? You stupid. People say that my voice is deep for a girl in fifth grade. I used to pretend to say the Pledge of Allegiance at a high pitched voice because people would say my voice is high. I like, I pledge allegiance to the flag. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, it's it's luck. I'm telling you, it has to be luck. Ooh. Mm. That's that butter. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm taking my time, Lane. Oh, now you're taking your time. Um, yeah, Chelsea and I are definitely going through a, a transition. Can I have a A transition in our life right now. I am. Um, I am finalizing some things. I'm going through all good. Um, it's all good, good changes. Transition. It's definitely all good transition. All but good it changes. Doesn't always feel good. For me, mine. I would say mine is fine. Mine. It's just. It is what it is. Like it's not. It's not bad for me. It doesn't make me feel any type of way. Like I'm happy for all the changes and the things that are taking place in my life. Um. But Chelsea definitely wanted to encourage you guys and talk to, open up and share a few things with you guys today. Um, so whenever you're ready, you know, take the floor. All right, get out of my way. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and any time <clears throat> that you go through a transition or any time that, you know, you're choosing yourself or your, the choices that you make, Everybody's not gonna like it. Everybody's not going to be happy. Um, everybody's not going to root for you. Um, <clears throat> but the transition that I have been going through, I have just been in a place where 
it's kind of just been teaching me to kind of stand on my own and like kind of remember who I was. So, I mean, you, you said your transition, your transition is, your transition is good. Okay, these are kind of big. These down here are kind of big. Every transition is good. You know Jeez. what I mean? You're, everybody has a different transition. Her transition is different from mine. And, you know, she's living her life and doing her thing. She has kids and she's, you know. One thing that I'm really learning <clears throat> in life, period, because I said this on my Instagram. I said, there is no formula or manual for how to do this thing called life. We're all trying to figure it out. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, you can have Appreciate that Appreciate it. You guys see she didn't, that's what you get because you didn't even ask. <laughs> <laughs> we're all trying to figure this thing you know called life out and I had I was telling my sister one thing that I really admire about her <laughs> why you flick it like that like what? one thing that I really admire about her is that she walks to the beat of her own drum if it makes her happy she's going to do it and it does not matter she doesn't consult what everybody else thinks like when she makes a decision she just goes for it she doesn't go around the mulberry bush asking you think i should you think i should because people have a tendency to project their uh, uh perspective onto yours you know what i mean so it's like you gotta some, sometimes you, remember that video we saw we, you gotta be quiet when you're going through a transition yeah be quiet yeah be quiet when you're what is, what is that? not even a transition basically when you got anything going on in your life like you buying a house be you buying a car quiet. You you're promotion. getting married hush because they said what do you how did he say it he said <clears throat> people's mouths or what they say they will like l really really rain on your parade Definitely. without you you know you're just wanting to share the good news you're just you saw how to... they acted when i got married oh my god and i will be addressing mm. some of the comments that i've seen you know what i mean like when you guys ask me questions about my husband and stuff like that i will be making a video i don't know <clears throat> as long as i've got this ring on my finger there's nothing no question to ask there's no nothing I, i'm married i have my ring and that's just what it is but oh snap i, did, I just did the piggy noise <laughs> um yeah you guys transition is is, is a part of life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um evolution is a part of life we all want to evolve and grow and and all of that stuff oh. and chelsea's going to be talking more in detail about her channel her transition on her channel um so are you gonna tag it yeah of course follow me on my channel y'all I'm proud of you, no matter oh. what you have going on, no matter what you, here, here's another one for you here. <sighs> Thank you, appreciate mm -hmm. it. Um, I'm always proud of you, I'm happy for you, I love my nieces, mm -hmm. and, you know, I just want to see you happy. Your happiness is so important. You like the crab legs? I mm -hmm. They are good. They are really, really good. I was um in a place of I was in a place of, of darkness where depression was just knocking on the, the door of my heart. Another one. Yeah, please, thank you. Where depression was just knocking at the door of my heart, and I normally like in life I wasn't the type to entertain. The, I call it the D word because I don't you know once you kind of open yourself up to it, it kind of dances around in your head for, for for some time. It'll it'll suppress, then it'll rise back up, then it'll suppress, then it'll rise back up. So I was very, very depressed for a while. Um and I didn't see no way out. Um I didn't I got to the point where it seemed sometimes it was just like, hmm maybe the other side is interesting if i can be real you yeah. know what i mean because i'm not in that place anymore so that's the difference yeah. where i can talk about you know what god has brought me out of i'm not there anymore so mm -hmm. i can talk about it and i know there are so many of us that deal with this with similar things the same things in life where life really be life in and you just like whoa like whoa, I need a whoa. Break. people aren't who i thought they were people say one thing they do another you know, mm -hmm. and I saw, I had saw this post and it was like, I forgive myself for doing what I did back when I thought I was doing something. Like, it said, I forgive myself for doing what I did when I 
thought I knew what was best or something along those lines. Basically, like you did what you did back then because you thought it was best. Now that obviously as you when you know better when you know better you do better That's so right. as you know better as you're learning as you're making mistakes I honestly feel like mistakes excuse me are a part of life as long as you don't keep doing the same stuff like don't keep eh? go ahead <laughs> you ain't got to look over here <laughs> as long as you don't keep doing you get what I mean? The same thing. Mistake. We have to make mistakes. We have to grow. Yeah. You get what I mean? So, um, yeah. I, I, I just I, I will be in more detail on my channel. So come on over excuse to me. my channel. But um, uh, excuse me. Anyway. So yeah. Was that the first time that you've ever? You can never say in your life that you've ever dealt with the D word. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never had like I never dealt with depression after having the girls. Um, I've never dealt. I've never dealt with it until you just. I, okay, for me, depression feels like your world is just caving in from all angles, all corners. It feels like your head is a balloon and is about to pop. Like you don't see no way out. You don't feel no way out. Nothing is making sense. Nothing is adding up. It's just like what is going on. Yeah. That's how it felt, and for people who and like, everybody feels different too. Uh -huh. So, the fact that you're sharing that, maybe someone can say, "Wow, that's how I feel." Am I experiencing yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And 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 I, oh, I let me let me get this. Let me start. Um, um so that? somebody can say, "Wow, that's I'm experience. dealing with this too." Maybe you know, because some people feel like they're not experiencing the D word. Some people feel like, and you, it's you, all in their head. You may or, not be. It could be anxiety. It could be many different things, and that's but why I, what I got in the past two, three months, I got a therapist. It's nothing wrong, yeah, with a therapist. Absolutely, you just need somebody that's unbiased that you can dump on. Because come on, let's be honest, dumping on your friends, dumping on your family, sometimes they just won't understand. And sometimes they'll run their mouth back to who Come you're on, talking somebody. about. Come on, somebody. But we're not going to talk about Come that. Come on, somebody. Y'all not ready for that conversation. That's what's so important. <laughs> like, you don't want anybody in your business, especially like, when you're dealing with something that's so vulnerable. And I tragic. am at a place where I don't, like, I struggle to trust people. Because it's like, I don't know your motive. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know if you're trying to get close to me to figure out my business. Like, I... Because I've been burned. We've all been burned. Yeah, like, you know, so it's like, there's nothing wrong with therapy. If you're struggling, find you a therapist. Go, oh, is it psychology today? Like, that's where I found mine, and mm -hmm. she's amazing. But just, just somebody who's unbiased that you can just dump on. So like, what do you say to people that feel like therapy is a waste of time? It's no, like, it's, I don't need to see a shrink, or I'm not crazy. <clears throat> it's, in my, like, what do you say to that? Well, no, number one, nobody's saying that you're crazy. Number two, these people have educated backgrounds to be able to take on your crazy. They're and able to, understand how your mind works. And under because they studied the mind. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And nine times out of ten, in my opinion, you just be needing somebody to talk to. That's the truth. And sometimes your family members can't don't feel like handling all of that. Your friends don't feel like he don't feel like they didn't go they to school busy for too, that. right? And not and don't get me wrong, it's nothing wrong with venting to your but, friends. But sometimes, why not, you know, just like how you have a maid. You'll have somebody come in, you'll pay them to clean your house. You're not, sometimes you just, it's okay to kind of go out of the box to make yourself, you know, help yourself to feel better. I don't think there's anything wrong with therapy. Yeah. Jesus and I therapy. I love therapy. I love it. I love therapy. It has helped me tremendously. Um, to be honest with you, I probably should have had therapy in my Long childhood. Time. So, I don't. I personally don't think there's anything wrong with therapy. And any transition that's uncomfortable, scary, unknown, you're afraid. You know people's opinions. Whenever you're wanting to do something for yourself, um, just I, I, I would say I have had a really bad habit of asking other people, "What do you think?" I am a recovering people pleaser. Mm -hmm. I've cared d past tense mm -hmm. way too much what people would think of me mm -hmm. now come to come approach me today um i don't i don't care because caring for caring what other people think got me nowhere yeah and except for sitting down twiddling my thumbs just wondering mm, does this person like me you remember i used to say that in school yeah. like really wondering if they like me so i am a recovering people pleaser i really thought you know what i mean like i cared too much i don't care anymore especially what i just dealt with and y'all will get into that much 
especially what I just dealt with, I can't care. Because if I'm carrying your opinion, I'm carrying that person's opinion, this person's opinion, well, where is my, my where is my opinion going to fit? Mm -hmm. And I'm the one who's, this is my life. You get what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. So, you know, you know, transitions aren't easy, but, you know, by the grace of God, I, I have a therapist. My girls are great. Everybody is great. Support. Um... And we just, we just, we just praise God. Definitely. Well, I'm so happy for you. Um, any decisions, anything that you make in your life, I'm going to support you and have your back no matter what. Um, I'm happy for you. I'm, I'm glad that you're safe. And I know that it can be very uncomfortable and you, you question this, question that. God, why this? God, why that? Um, do you have any encouraging words for anybody that's questioning God? that are and is having a difficult relationship even understanding is god still here does he hear me is there a, even a god I, why would god put me through all that why would god do me like that i can say there have been times where i have even asked like god where are you mm. like what is going on yeah but i know the bible tells us that um his grace is sufficient his strength is made perfect in our weaknesses so in our weak areas we still like to control those weak areas we still like to have our hands in our weak areas we need to learn to give our weak areas over to him and allow him to be our strength so in any situation i'm not god but in any situation where it's just like i'm feeling weak right now like weak in my mind i need to give that over to him the bible says we got to be renewed our mind has to be renewed be be renewed every single day mm -hmm. transformed by the renewing of your mind yeah so I have, I, I know exactly what that feels like to ask God, God, where are you? Like, what is going on? And there's nothing wrong with it. I know some people say, you ain't supposed to question God. I do. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause what's going on with, uh, can you like, where are you at? Can you talk to me? Can you, you know? Um, but in the moment of me being uh, uh, um, doubtful or afraid or just being in the unknown, just uncertain, that's when I go to him the most yeah. because in that moment he's going to give me direction. Yeah. And you have to you have to turn off all the noise, you have to silence the distractions and really really focus on what God is really saying. So, I don't have the answer as to why God is not fixing it the minute you want it done or you can say, "Lord, what are you trying to show me in this entire situation? Yeah. What are you trying to reveal to me?" I hope that yeah. answered. I, I think it did. <laughs> I definitely think it did. So, um, you guys, I just want you all to be encouraged. If you are going through a transition, um, it doesn't feel good. My, the thing that I say is it's temporary. I think that's what helps me get through a lot of things is I know that, yes, it doesn't feel good right now. Yes, it's uncomfortable right now, but it's temporary. And it might not be like this. Go ahead. You know what I think of when I think of transitions? I think of a sculpture. Okay. How the, the person that is sculpting a piece of clay or stone or whatever has to chisel away at the unnecessary yes so whatever you're dealing with and it's uncomfortable imagine if the sculpture was a real person you mm -hmm. have to chip away you have to chisel you have to cut you got to rip apart at the unnecessary because it doesn't belong there yes but at the end you have a beautiful masterpiece mm -hmm. that is absolutely stunning and you're just like wow imagine what that person had to go through to look like this mm -hmm. you know definitely and we want to leave you with something. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Sometimes you have to speak victory during the test. And no matter how you feel, speak the word. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Oh, 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 sometimes you have to speak a word over yourself. Depression is all around, but God is a prayer. Speak over yourself 
encourage yourself in the Lord. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys so much. Oh, everything is gonna work out. Everything's gonna be just fine. Oh my God, that song gets we me. We love you guys so much. And again, where can everybody find you? Because you've been doing on social media lately on my instagram and what is that called um it's idol christ and are you going to change your youtube to idol christ that would be should i yeah i think you should i think you should change it to that as well i don't know how that should be love you guys so much i will see you tomorrow day 19 down baby 20 tomorrow yeah, yeah, yeah. god's willing i love you all so much be encouraged in the storm be encouraged in the transition be encouraged when it feels uncomfortable be encouraged when everybody got their back against you be encouraged be encouraged be encouraged and know that god has you and is going to bring you and see you through sometimes we go through things sometimes we put things on ourselves let's let's come on let's yeah, let's take accountability all the time but sometimes happens. god is bringing you in a situation or bringing you through a situation to open your eyes and show you to make better decisions show you you didn't handle that situation situation good i'm gonna teach you how to do it better that you're attracting the wrong type of person i'm gonna show you how to do better so sometimes we have to look at it in a way like god what are you trying to teach me what are you trying to show me and have faith and believe that god is going to see you through as long as you're not six feet under and you got your mind okay. baby you can, it can change and any can moment still keep going ha ha glory <laughs> Love you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>